Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome to Go Green Investments. I am Mr. Green, your loyal and engaging host. As always, it is Wednesday, May the 26th. Having a great day so far. Hey, listen, I am not going anywhere. I appreciate all of your concern. I appreciate those of you on Team Green who have uh, inquired as to where I've been. And frankly, the matter is I have been working on a substantial business deal and it uh, has garnered my attention. And I've had to put about 100% of my time into that particular project at this time. As always, please support this channel. It will give me time to uh, make new content things are going very well it's great to be back and i hope all of you will share this video and let's keep the channel moving forward we are at uh, just about 5,000 subscribers at this time and uh, it's good to be back in any case uh, today i wanted to talk about some very good news for team green holdings amc hey I, you can't argue that uh uh, I have said all along that AMC and the movies are going to come back, and frankly, the movies have come back very strongly. Plus, you've got a lot of content out there <clears throat> that has been on hold that is going to be released in theaters, and you're going to see an influx of people simply wanting to get back to normal life, and I think that is the case. So AMC is making money. Right now, we are sitting at $18.88 per share. Uh, I'm fairly well vested in this company and right now uh, today's uh, events have been you know happy making for me I have sat on this particular stock again remember the credo here is patience equals gain and if you have been patient as I encouraged all along hopefully you have seen some gains but listen this is only my opinion I'm not a financial advisor but my suggestion is, or at least my strategy is with this particular holding, is that I'm not going anywhere. Uh, you know, this is a holding that you'll want to probably sell on the way down as opposed to selling on the way up while it still has momentum. Now, there is absolutely no reason given the fact that information was released today with regards to the massive loss uh, that hedge funds have taken on shorting this particular stock somewhere in the area about 654 million dollars that they have lost by shorting this particular stock while well, all of us retail investors over three million of us held tight uh, because we felt that this was a good company. We wanted to save the theater. Uh, we believed that they were going to do the right things, and they have. Uh, I saw a uh, news catalyst uh, wherein that AMC is now involved in... Uh, releasing a particular program so they're starting to release original content which is a great thing to hear people are going back to the movies things are opening back up the masks are coming off the vaccinations have gone up uh, we're probably seeing herd immunity I hope and uh, things are looking good in any case this is an exciting day this stock AMC has gone over $19 today okay so for those of you who remember when we were sitting about the five to six dollar range and Many of the shills in the media were saying, ah, this is a one cent stock. This stock's not going to do anything. I want you to look right there. We are at 1896. So we are pushing that firewall at the $19 mark. This is a very, very good day. Now, what you're going to see is over the past year or so, you've seen about 250% growth with this particular stock. So you've seen an, a, a constant upward move. Now, stocks are volatile. They're going to move up and down. But as long as you see a constant rise over time with that particular stock, there's no reason to sell it. So it may go from $19 high today down to $16 tomorrow. And by the end of the week or the start of next week, it may shoot back up uh, maybe to $20. So you're going to see dips. You're going to see plateaus. You're going to see spikes. And that's all okay. That's normal stock transaction is normal stock price action you're going to see resistance and that's okay because you're going to push through that uh, the fact of the matter is is that this stock in my opinion is going to continue to push north the good news about this particular stock is the amount of volume that was seen between 9 30 and 10 a.m this this morning was astounding and the fact of the matter is is that hedge funds have got to cover their shorts on this and we have all held tight so yes a squeeze is very very possible um, uh, that we may see with this particular stock. In any case, I want to congratulate all of you who are doing the right thing. 
hopefully seeing green with this particular holding at this time as I am. Uh, I've seen a nice upswing in the profit uh, margin on my particular portfolio. That is a very good thing because many of us, irrespective of our uh, ability to predict or our intelligence level or what have you, look, this is a bit of a crapshoot. So <laughs> there's nothing wrong with winning the lottery once in a while. Uh, but for those of you who own 100 shares, maybe 1,000 shares, maybe 10,000 shares, look, this stock uh, looks like it's going to make uh, some folks some substantial money. We switch over to GME, GameStop. We're seeing that at about $250 per share today. Now, if you equate, and I've done it many times, if you equate GME to AMC, look, AMC is a substantial brick and mortar business. Uh, it has got a lot to offer. It's got a lot of potential. There's a lot of changes that could and probably will be made with respect to AMC theaters and what they do and how they deliver product to you. You also saw, just as a side note, you saw Amazon uh, set to acquire MGM because they wanted their past history, their past catalog and library of films for broadcast. So things can happen, folks. Good things are happening. Uh, good things are certainly happening with AMC. We're currently seeing 1877. Uh, I believe uh, since we hit 1966 today uh, as our high thus far, it's early in the day, plenty of room to go. Hang tight. I think things, uh, I think good things are going to happen with this particular stock. And again, congratulations to you who held on. And for those of you who, uh, as members of Team Green, uh, maybe, uh, again, not giving financial advice, we're strictly here for entertainment purposes, but in my opinion, my professional opinion, as a business person, this is a stock that I'm going to hang on to and ride it until such time as I feel like it is time to have an exit. Remember, entry strategy, exit strategy, very important to have that. Um, I have one, you should have one as well. Let's switch gears. Let's look at uh, HCMC, Healthier Choices Management. A couple of things have happened. Now, the stock has been relatively flat with respect to what it's done price action wise. But look, the big catalyst that should be coming is some type of movement in the federal court in Georgia. Nothing's happened yet. And folks, as I have said in the past, most things in court happen on a 30-day cycle. So don't be alarmed if you haven't seen a ruling by the judge with respect to this case moving forward. We have seen some small spikes in the price action for this particular stock. Things will happen with this particular stock. You also saw a direct company offering that I would encourage you to go to uh, Healthier Choices Management Corp website. Jeffrey Holman released a five-part video. I'm not going to burden you with that. You can go to the website and check that out. But uh, Healthier Choices uh, CEO Jeff Holman uh, released a uh, five-part, all short videos explaining the the uh, private offering that they were going to offer at a discount. And for many of you who, uh, for example, my trading platform happens to be TD Ameritrade, and one day I woke up and I saw a, uh, a coded kind of message um, with a price to be determined, a cost to be determined, and so on and so forth. But it was a 25% of my uh, current holdings of common stock in HCMC. And what they are offering to you folks, as he will explain <clears throat> in some detail, but easy to understand, is the fact that you're going to be able to buy common shares of stock in HCMC for a limited period of time, um, giving you the ability to buy at the same price that an institutional investor would buy at, at a 25% discount. So right now where it says, and I think believe they take a five-day average, uh, so let's just use 15 as that particular average. So you're going to be able to buy at a 25% discount, somewhere around just over 10, around 11. Um, and you're going to be able to uh, hopefully use that to average down. Again, I still believe in this stock. The nominal cost of this particular stock is one in which you really have a lot to gain and not a whole lot to lose, depending on what your position is. But that being said, uh, I think I'm going to take advantage of that 25% uh, discount 
um, when it becomes available to me, and that should be coming any time. And uh, again, I would encourage you to watch Mr. Holman's videos. They will inform you as to exactly how that offering takes place, why it takes place. Now, uh, in all fairness, let's look at the other side as well. One of my concerns with what's going on with HCMC is the fact that HCMC is making a lot of moves with respect to its stock. That's okay. Uh, my concern is how are they using those funds that they are driving through stockholders? Now, I haven't come to the point where I don't want to invest in the company. In fact, I'm going to further invest in the company. But my concern is with Mr. Holman and with HCMC's board of directors is, look, are we going to use this money to possibly open uh, maybe a, uh, a number of uh, maybe of ADA's markets? Are we going to use this? In, in other words, you're driving, you're driving money, you're, you're asking for investment by stockholders, and that's okay. But I'm not exactly sure where we're using the money right now. I'd like to see some kind of pointed reaction to that question, if we could get that, and somebody to let us know maybe where the direction of the company is right now. Um, that would be helpful um, with respect to investors and uh, those of us who are putting more money in. Uh, as, as a result of this private offering, discounted offering, I'm probably going to hold. I've been on hold for a while with HCMC as far as taking any further position because, frankly, the price action is flat. Let's look, um, if we could, switch gears again just a little bit, but laterally. <clears throat> HCMC, one of their... Uh, big institutional investors was MJ Holdings. MJ Holdings is MJNE on the OTC. Uh, it's a diversified holding company which through its subsidiaries provides cultivation and production services of the regulated cannabis to the cannabis industry. Um, what they did was they just sold 1.5 billion shares of their HCMC stock to drive uh, a net revenue um, to bring back into their balance sheet of $6.4 million. Now, is this anything to be alarmed about? Not necessarily, no. Uh, what they did was they did like what we do. In many cases, they bought into HCMC, they uh, watched the stock go up uh, as an investor and stockholder, and they decided to liquidate their stocks. However, um, now look, with the total overall stock holdings number of shares, uh, with HCMC, um, this is, you know, 1.5 billion shares is certainly substantial, uh, but certainly doesn't, you know, break the bank as it were. In any case, um, they did pull out, um, which makes more shares available. Actually, it's kind of a good thing because it's reducing that overall number of shares, which I said would be important. In any case, the, the main catalyst still remains the lawsuit. You know, we don't want to put all of our eggs in one basket, clearly, but uh, um, that is the main catalyst, in my opinion, that is going to drive some kind of action with this rather flat stock at this time. Again, most of us just don't have, um, although we may own a substantial number of shares, uh, most of us just don't have a ton of money in this particular stock. Um, and again, if you're going to invest money, you need to be prepared to lose it. In any case, you can see here, uh, that um, we are sitting at about 15, again, in a pretty strong barcoding pattern. Um, let's go to the one minute, make sure we're in the right place. Uh, we did see a, a high of 35 on April the 30th, so we did see a little spike there that I mentioned previously, and then we have declined and tapered off and kind of plateaued once again. Again, it's going to take some type of uh, some type of catalyst to drive this stock. Uh, I'm fine sitting on this stock uh, for as long as it takes, as I've done with HCMC for a number of months, to see some type of reaction and to see some type of action in that particular price and hopefully move in a northerly fashion where we can take some profits or uh, work on our uh, work on our exit strategy. That's always a nice thing to come to the point where you actually have to employ your exit strategy. That's a good thing. Uh, in any case, that is where we are. Lastly, I wanted to touch upon assertion. Now, for those of you who had assertion and um, maybe were held that as a team green holding, um, you saw a reverse split in that particular stock. 
Well, I don't think that was a, a actually a bad move on their part because what you've seen, you saw a you saw the stock here just flatlining, riding at the about the 40, uh, 40 cent mark when they did the reverse split caused a spike, moved it up to about a dollar fifty. Now it's riding up at about a dollar ninety at this time. So that reverse split caused um, a, a uh, a spike in the particular value. Yes, you lost some shares, but look, we also want uh, shares that make sense. We want a share of value. And the particular case that we're looking at here with assertion is the fact that the stock is moving up and that's okay. So for those of you who, uh, who held assertion uh, as a team green holding, congratulations to you. Uh, I would hang in on that particular stock. Pharmaceuticals tend to do very well and they've got a, uh, a platform of uh, drugs at their particular company uh, with a philosophy at that particular company that, that for pharmaceuticals uh, seems to be engaging and positive. So that's a very good thing. Um, let's finish off with uh, Microvision, if we could. Microvision has done very well. I wish that I had increased my holdings in the dip. Unfortunately, uh, because my AMC position, I didn't feel really comfortable doing it, that at that time. Uh, I would have liked to have jumped in when it was back down to about 8, 9, 10, somewhere in that area, because now it is up to 14.53. So uh, Microvision is a solid stock, uh, at least a swing trade, if not a long hold. Uh, but uh, we have watched that stock for quite some time, and uh, I still like it. And for those of you who have been in on Microvision, Microvision, I apologize. For those of you who have been in on Microvision and holding tight and supporting the company, good for you. I hope you took some profits and saw some gains. In any case, I will cut it short today. I'm not going to make this a fancy video. I just wanted to get back on, let you know uh, that I was still here. Again, I appreciate all the uh, all the concern. Uh, nothing to be concerned about at all. I appreciate all the uh, the invites back, you know, Mr. Green, are you coming back? Is everything okay? We'd love to see you again. Look, I'm here for you, uh, but I also follow my own philosophy. I have to be where the money is green. And uh, my particular business venture that I'm working on, have been working on for about the past 24 months, has required a great deal of my time. That's where I've been. Uh, I apologize if I left in any, any of you cold. Uh, that's just the way the business ball rolls. In any case, I am here. I'm going to bring you new content. Um, I look forward to hearing from you. Send me some emails. Uh, great to be back with you. And I will try to get some con content out to you soon. In any case, this is Mr. Green, your loyal and engaging host and presenter for Go Green Investments. I appreciate you being here to share this video. And thanks so much. Take care.